On my last video, I showed you how we cut it out and dug the hole for the addition. I gave you my reasons for laying it all dry. I showed you how I poured the footer and I laid the corners on the same day. I showed you a little bit about squaring the footer, how I drove the rebar into the footer while it was still wet, how I reached my heights, and I continue on. Now we gotta go around this pipe. What do you do when you go around pipes? Well, you gotta do something. So you know what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna use some old brick. This is a cobblestone from a road, so. I'm going to use that first. There ain't nothing harder than that. It's a lot more harder than any blocks. Put that in there like that. And that's that. That's harder than any cinder block. In there like that. Plaster it up in the back. Yeah, that's an old cobblestone from a street where they had the old street cars. That'll work. Okay, bricks are always a little bit bigger because in the old days, they made them a solid eight inches. So we're going to go there. Fill it in there. A little bit here. A little bit there. Get right under there. Perfect. Look at that, works out good. Put that in there like that. Perfect. You ever seen my video on brick masons in China? You understand how to lay brick. Those guys are still doing it the old school way. Forgot all that over here. And that was the best way. Other old brick here. It'll fit in there like that. What's going on here? Get one in here. Like that. Perfect. I'll just fill solid. No big deal. It's a crawl space. I'm going to be down here. Old girls is going to be dancing down here looking at this. Look at it from this angle. We're tying that all in. See that? So no, no water, nothing gets in there. Boom. Now, so I'm going to put this one in now. That's that. Thing on the other this side. one, I'm gonna cut it here. Here, that'll go right in. Because it's raining out, I'm going to worry about that tomorrow. Like that. 
going to fill it all in. That's it. Fill it all in. Tomorrow that will be set up real nice. I'm only a couple courses high. I want to make sure I'm getting some plaster behind here. We got a tar that. And I might not be able to get back here later on. I want to make sure I'm good. And I'll brush it off later. Make sure. Everything's good over here. I got to cut a block here So I got to cut a block 10 inches because that's the middle of the web 10 inches. I got to cut it Is your 10 inches right there Hear the sound change Hear that sound change The other side Go 10 inches That's it. Close enough. If it's too short, use this end of the hammer. Or too long. And go back. Otherwise I would have showed you doing it perfect. There. Now it's perfect. That's what we do. Get the cement and put it in. We get our 10-inch piece goes right on top right in the middle there let it kind of sink down there perfect just to see where I am a little bit at that level and I want to go up make sure I'm on target here Then I fill in behind it. Fill that all in. That's it. Let that. Very good. I went to lay this block, and it's uh. I just get some Portland. That's going to dry that cement up so I can go higher with my block. And I put this on. Now I should be able to lay my block to the right height. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Six, uh, eight, ten. Six, eight, ten. You heard right. about three, four, five. We're going to double it. There's six, six feet here from the corner, and we got to go eight foot there. Eight foot here. So that's eight foot. You're going to hold that on that mark. Eleven foot three. Six, eight. That's ten feet. Right? That's it. Now, just for the heck of it, fuck. Because we know that the square. Is three four five. Oh, I'm fucking who's got the camera? Because we know this square is three four five, and we want to do a quick check. We can do this. Comprende? See that? It's square. Now I'm up on getting close to the bank here. I want to make sure I got my Duro wall. I call this stuff. This is called Duro wall. Put it around the whole block like you see now how I do block work on that course. Whenever you're doing this, you cut it. You don't go down, you cut it.
this one. Solid. This corner was high. I'm going to drop it down a little bit. This way with it. That's good. Put this one in. This way. We'll go this way with it. Like that. Pull this up. You always scrape your stuff away. I knock it down. I'm gonna just make sure it's level this way. Good. That's good. I'm hit with my transit to see what my heights are. I want to end this video. Uh, this is my brother Jeffrey. Howdy. And this here is Jardy, a plumber. Howdy. And uh, when you're going through a wall with plumbers, we usually use a sleeve sometimes, right? Sleeves, yes. Anyone? New construction sleeves. New construction sleeves, right? In in older construction, you get creative. Yeah. But, sleeves uh, filling with copper pipes and stainless steel. The cement has a tendency to rot, doesn't it? Corrodes it, yes, so yeah. you should sleeve it All right. if possible. So uh, when I do the blocks and the block sink, I throw some Portland in, and then I fill the webs. I use that Dural wall. You've seen that in other videos. Uh, I'm always measuring. I always have someone like my brother hold the dummy end, and I hold the smart end. <laughs> then he holds the smart end, and I hold the dummy end, and we make sure we're right. I always keep measuring. What kind of trowel? You use anything you want, right? Yeah, more for trowel. Yeah, he uses anything he wants. And uh, the part three about <coughs> finishing anchor bolts. But uh, we're at Kettle Creek Coast Company. They're having a rattlesnake roundup. And we're staying at Old Bull State Park in Pennsylvania. Oli Bull. Oli. Oli Bull. Oli, yeah. O-L-E, yeah. <coughs> so uh, we went over this. There's seven things, six things. You always have issues with or trouble with in life, and one of them is what? Retaining walls. Retaining walls. <coughs> Outside drains. Outside drains. <coughs> Flat roofs. Crawl spaces. Uh, buried pipes. Buried pipes, and what? What else? Least, but <laughs> least of all, but not last, 
Women. Women, that's right. <laughs> women. <laughs> and I'm sure everyone here agrees <laughs> that they've had issues. So, uh, all right. But that's just our opinion. <laughs> I didn't say it. So, uh, I'm, I did. <laughs> so, uh, until next time, part three, thanks for watching. Bye bye.